What a nice little tune. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is our first baby level Digimon. Sorry, but off the top of my head, I'm like I say, I'm very unfamiliar with these egg lines, and just from that sprite alone, I'm not certain who it is. I'm going to guess, and I'm going to say could be Pabumon. I'm the king of the world! So, it's day two of the version 20 of Pendulum Run, our beloved Motumon digivolved into Tentamon. This unlocked our second egg, and I believe the egg we chose is the Nightmare Soldier's egg. Now, I'd like to say I'm nowhere near an expert on the Pendulums, but I'm assuming that by the fact that the egg is basically just a skull, that that's the Nightmare Soldier's egg. <laughs> and then... So, this hatched out a Digimon called Mokumon. who has now digivolved into the adorable Demi Merrimon. Yo, what's up? Day 3 of the version 20th Silver Black Pendulum Run and our Demi Merrimon has digivolved into one of my all-time favourite rookie level Digimon Demi Demimon! How ace is he? Absolutely ace! Now, I did know he was on these devices but I had no idea I was getting him I'm not following any walkthroughs of these, so I'm just doing it blind and I'm so stoked that we actually got Demi Devimon. Sick! So, we've retreated to the car because as you can see the weather is minging and I can't risk getting this glorious device wet. Okay, so let's try this baby out in a battle. Oh, no way! I think that's Gilmon! <laughs> I believe Six Shakes is his mega hit, but who knows. Oh, Gilmon! Look how cute he looks! Oh, I'm so buzzing. Oh, he's kicking our ass. Come on, Demi Devimon. Yeah, that's it. Hit him with another of those Demi darts, mate. Yes. Good dodge, mate. Good dodge. We've got this. We've got it in the bag. It's so close. Oh, we've got... Oh, we just scraped through. Well, we may have just scraped through, but I'm so proud of Demi Devimon for making it count against Gilmon. Ace. Today has been a long and grueling day at work, so you'll have to forgive my low energy or dead behind the eyes stare. <laughs> But that's enough of that, let's catch up with the version 20 of Pendulum. So, Tentamon digivolved into Carbuterimon. And Demi Devimon digivolved into Dokugamon. So, now that we've hit champion level, I believe we should be able to Jogress. Jogressing is basically DNA digivolving, uh, it fuses two Digimon together to make a stronger Digimon of the higher form. So a champion would Jogress to become an ultimate, and so on and so forth. So, in order to Jogress, you need to have full DP, Carbuterimon has, so that's cool. And yeah, you need to have another Digimon with the same level and type. So, we're going to go over here, other, send, we're going to choose Greymon, because I believe Greymon is also a vaccine. So, we're going to go down on here to copy and get. Now, put these two babies together. Press B, and hopefully, 
Cool. So there we can see Greymon has appeared as Copymon on the Pendulum. We can see Carboterimon. But we can also see that Greymon is our Copymon. So now, if my calculations are correct, we go back over to Connect. But it's time to Jogress. We select Digimon, we select Carboterimon, and then we go down to Copymon Greymon. And here we go. Honestly, don't know exactly what this is going to be. Awesome. That's a cool animation, but I don't have a clue who that is. So I'm just going to go do a quick bit of research. No, <laughs> oh, it seems so obvious now. It's Jagomon. So here we have it on the D terminal, a classic Digimon. That sprite wasn't the easiest to, to pick out though, and Jagamon's not a very well known Digimon anyway. It's a cool Digimon, but it's not one of your, your kind of like your run of the mill Digimon. So now it's Dokugamon's turn. Let's Jogress Dokugamon. So she's a virus, so let's go and pick out as a nice virus. Ogumon, he's gotta be. He's obviously a virus and also a champion lover, so let's do this. Oh crap. Very right, quick. Copy. Get. Yeah, cool. So now Dokugamon has got a Copymon, and we know that that Copymon is Ogamon. And yeah, we can see Ogamon with a little Copymon emblem, so we know that that's our Copymon. So now the moment of truth. Now we're going to connect again, battle, copy, Jogress, Digimon, Dokugamon, and Ogamon, and here we go. <gasps> no way! <laughs> Oh, sick. That's my Otis, man. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. He looks so cool. So, yeah, that's my Otis, man. Basically, Count Dracula. <laughs> oh, he looks sick. He's also known in the Japanese anime as Vamdemon. I think that's how you pronounce it, which is also a cool name, but I do think my Otis, man sounds cooler. Um, awesome. Now, I'd love to do some more with these guys for you, but... As you can see, Jogress and Exhaust all your DP. Now you can get your DP back up by uh, giving them vitamins, but that also reduces their lifespan, I believe. I don't know if that's true or not, but yeah, that's what I've been led to believe, and I don't want to take any risks on our first run through. Eat, yes. So I hope I walked you through that part well enough. It was something that seemed a little bit daunting to me i felt like it was more complicated than it actually is so yeah it's really simple really straightforward basically as long as you're the same level and the same type you should be able to jogress it takes all your dp but it does get you to that next level a little bit faster and i don't know i suppose it adds another dynamic and obviously certain combinations will give you certain digimon so like i think there are some digimon that are only obtainable through jogress so something to think about but yeah we're going to basically now rest them up i'm gonna get some rest i'm gonna smash out my last day at work tomorrow and then we're gonna do some battling and just take it from there see what happens so yeah ace <laughs> Yo, so it's another beautiful day here in the digital world and we're still chilling out with myotismon and jagamon now both of them can jogress digivolve but I want to see if we can naturally digivolve them first so we're going to just chill out all day today with these guys we're going to do some battling and just just chill out basically and then if they haven't naturally digivolved by tomorrow then we shall jogress them but i do want to show you kind of like the natural digivolution as well so yeah let's see what happens
Oh, is this iconic or what? Pumpkin Mon and my Otis Mon in the same battle? Does anyone remember that episode? Sad times, sad times. My Otis Mon's attack looks amazing, those bats. So cool, man, so cool. Nailed it, dream team. Yo, so welcome to the final day of the version 20 of Pendulum Run. Now, I did say I was going to wait and see if they would naturally digivolve. However, after a couple of days of waiting, I did a tiny bit of research and it turns out that neither Myotismon or Jagamon can digivolve to Mega without Jogress, which wouldn't normally be a problem for us, but our version 20 VPET died, so, and that means we can't connect until this hits rookie level again, and I don't want to leave this video any longer. And I've already spoken you through Jogress and stuff, so you know how it works. So yeah, there's no need to really to do it again for this playthrough. I'm going to be running this on Vlog Pets, which will start up again after I've got this video finished and stuff, so I wanted this video to basically just be a playthrough from start to finish and ultimate used to be the finish anyway so yeah i mean that's enough you've seen everything that this can do uh, there is only just one last thing that i do want to show you in regards to the copymon stuff there are certain digimon that are only obtainable through passwords so we've had two passwords released already one for ophinemon fall down mode and most recently we had magnumon so i'm just going to show you work through that really quick and show you that and maybe these will be able to geogress with it but i don't think they will because those are mega level and these are ultimate and i think you have to be the same level and the same type so i don't know we're gonna go through that anyway just so you can see how that works and then yeah let's do it so we're gonna get a funny mon fall down mode first and we're gonna pair him with myotis mon because i think they're both viruses so let's check it out down to password and then we're going and we're gonna swap that for ogre mon there it is Oh, Finemon fall down mode. Awesome. And for Magnumon, it's. Let's do this. There he is, Magnumon. His sprite looks ace, actually. He looks really cool. Awesome. Now, the moment of truth, I don't think this is going to work, but it's worth a try, it's worth a try. So, Jogress, let's try my Otis Mon, and a oh, I think it's working. No way. Oh, that was <laughs> a nightmare. Oh, I didn't think it was going to work, but it looked like it was. <laughs> Never mind. All right, Digimon. Why is Magnumon on there? Oh, Magnumon can't Jogress, so... Yeah, it was as I thought. We can't Jogress with either of them. But yeah, I think the password thing's a really cool feature. The fact the stagger in the release just makes these more exciting. You know, they keep dropping a release for new Digimon and everyone rushes back to the pendulum to check it out. You know, it's really cool. And also, it's a great way for people that don't have any other devices to have a Copymon by the side. Because I do believe it makes them stronger having a Copymon by the side when you're fighting and stuff. So, yeah, really cool little feature. And that concludes this run through of the version 20 of Pendulum. Brilliant device, loads of nice fixes from the version 20 of VPET. So it does feel like we're progressing. We're not just churning out the same stuff, which is ace. Loads of new Digimon, loads of cool features, you know, like English menus, better pause feature. The Jogress thing is a lot more accessible. There's only very specific Digimon you could Jogress on the VPET, whereas on this, pretty much anything can Jogress. So that's really cool to explore that as well. So yeah, there's loads of cool stuff packed into this. It's just an all-around great device. But obviously, it's not without its bugs. The few bugs it has, I do believe, will be ironed out in the Wave 2 releases, um, which are Gallopmon Dukemon or Beelzemon Beelzebubmon. And they're coming out December, I think. I think the pre-orders are currently still up at the time of recording this, and that's your chance to get them at a semi-reasonable price. After the pre-orders, the prices kind of go up a bit. 
but they really are worth every if you're a digimon fan or a virtual pet fan then they really are worth the money so that's my opinion on the thing obviously we're going to be diving a lot deeper into these in the vlog pet series so i'd love it if you check that out but whatever <laughs> thanks so much for coming and hanging out today it's been absolutely ace you're the absolute greatest from me and the squad peace out